Hey there, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's DMG, and welcome back to Blitz, and today we are going to have a video on how to artificially create gun depression. Now, this video is being produced in the same line of uh, videos as the dancing video that I did. There will be another part two of the dancing video, but for now, I wanted to do this because a lot of people struggle with gun depression. Uh, Shoutouts to the new subscribers coming to the channel from the video that you saw on Bushka. Happy to have you here. I'm going to let you know right now that I am not the nicest uni, but there is a large knowledge base here, and I hope you learned something from it. Now, gun depression. Everyone loves gun depression. Having the standard 10 degrees of gun depression, let's say, on this Tier 8 American medium tank in the tech tree, the Pershing. Uh, everyone wants that. 10 degrees of gun depression allows you to easily put shots into the Rockfield B-cap, as you see right here, without exposing too much of your tank. You don't have to drive all the way forward. It means you can get more shot opportunities, which is absolutely fantastic. Additionally, we're about to go into the scope and have a look at this right now. Using the 10 degrees of gun depression that the Pershing has, I'm able to easily fire into the B cap of Rockfield. No trouble there. Now, what if I told you that you could do the same thing in the Tier 10 Russian Medium T62A with only 5 degrees of gun depression? I'm sure a lot of you would look at me and say there's no way you could get the same kinds of opportunities to reset the base. Well, I'm going to tell you that you're wrong, and you can. Because you need to think about gun depression like a coordinate plane. Now for those of you who are not familiar with a coordinate plane, that is the x-axis and the y-axis, and if you're thinking in a 3D model, that's using the z-axis to judge depth. But let's just try and stick with the x and the y-axis for now. So consider your up and down gun elevation and gun depression, the y-axis on the coordinate plane. So for a T62A, that's minus 5 degrees, and then up, I think it's 23 degrees or something like that. Whatever, we're mostly talking about gun depression here, right? That's what's more important. Now for the x-axis, consider the ability to rotate your turret. In this case, for the T62A, it is 360 degrees, so you're able to go as far to the right as you want and as far to the left as you want it'll just keep going spinning in a circle regardless of what you see now if you drive up a slope from the side you will be able to artificially create gun depression and now i'm showing these two areas in the pershing because i'm going to show them in the t62a but there are many areas where you can artificially create gun depression now imagine if you turned your tank on its side and one side of the tracks was flat on the ground. Now your turret spinning part is actually on the y-axis, the up and down, so you're able to depress the gun however much you want and elevate the gun however much you want. But then from the left and the right, in this case, let's say this T62A, which can't get any shots into the Rockfield B cap, is on its side. The ability to traverse to the left, which would be the gun elevation in this case, if, it was, if it's on its tracks on the left side, it would be 23 degrees. However, to the right, it would be only 5 degrees. So try and think about that in your head and think about it if it was on the right side of its tracks. The ability to go up and down with the gun, the depression elevation would then be as much as you want and as much as you want up, but however, the ability to go right and left would now be 23 degrees to the right and 5 degrees to the left. So think about that in terms of a coordinate plane. Now what happens if you go on a diagonal angle? By going on a diagonal angle, you're able to create gun depression using the turret arc from whatever tank you're driving. Now think of this in terms of the coordinate plane. If you point a 62A somewhat on its side, in this case on a diagonal angle, not from the picture you see, so please don't go by that picture, I'm just using it as a still, but if you point the tank diagonally up something, you create gun depression using the turret arc. So in this case, the left and right gun arc would be creating depression, and the up and down 
would be creating a little bit of the left and right that you'd normally get on flat. I hope that makes sense. So instead of actually trying to theory craft this for you and draw everything out in a coordinate plane, I'm just going to show you exactly what I mean. If you understood that explanation, fantastic. Here is an actual picture of what I'm trying to say with my words. Now, I probably should have shown this one from the beginning, but I've already done like five minutes of editing, and I didn't feel like taking all that out because if you understand that coordinate plane explanation, and some people are more mathy like that, well, hey, you know, you can figure this out easier, but some people are more visual learners. So here it is right now. From the prior picture that you saw, and feel free to pause and go back to the previous stills that you saw, I am not creating any artificial gun, excuse me, I am not artificially creating gun depression. Now I am. Now look at this still. I am able to turn the turret to the right, and by turning the turret to the right, the way my tank is balanced on this terrain, if I simply turn turn the turret to the right and do nothing else, the gun will go down. If I simply turn the turret to the left, the gun will go up in addition to going left. Now, the up and down angles allow me to get a little bit more to the right or a little bit more to the left depending on how I want to play it. So you can see the coordinate plane, you can either kind of tilt it to the leveling of the tank, is the best way I can describe it, or you can kind of plot out how the gun depression uh, and elevation works in conjunction with the turret arc from whatever tank you're driving. The more depression you have, the more flexible this is, but for most intense in purposes, you can get away with using five degrees of gun depression. Do you want to know why the T62A keeps getting buffed? It's because a lot of people, people, quotation marks, can't figure out how to use five degrees of gun depression effectively. This is one of the main reasons why I see players struggle, because they can't effectively find a way to get shot opportunities. But if you can artificially create gun depression, you will be able to drive tanks like the T-62A and drive them just as effectively as an M60 or a Centurion 7-1. And granted, right, there are certain situations where... The Centurion 7-1 or the M60 will always be better than the T-62A. Granted, I am willing to concede that. But if you learn how to do this, you can mitigate a lot of situations where a T-62A would be useless and make it work like an M60. And also gain the benefit of being able to use a T-62A in the proper positions and have it absolutely dominate. So you can mitigate gun depression uh, weaknesses with this technique. As you can see, I am pointed diagonally up a hill and using my turret arc, if I turn the turret to the right in this case, the gun is going down. If I turn the turret to the left, the gun is going up. And by using the gun depression and the gun elevation angles, I am then able to traverse to the left and the right while using the turret arc to aim up and down. Now, positions previously that most of you would think would be untenable for a T-62A like this area on Rockfield or the area that you just saw on Vineyards suddenly become usable. If you are able to find these positions and figure them out, and I haven't included every single one because that would take forever, but here are just a few that are really obvious that came to mind to me so that you can use these or just take this general concept and try it to apply it in game. Now if I asked you to reset the B cap on Rockfield in a T62A, it's not all that scary now, is it? You're not poking over a ridge fully. You're able to get shots kind of from the same uh, line as a Pershing or an M48 Patton, but you're in a T62A and now you still have all this DPM, you have all this accuracy, you have all this mobility, you have this camouflage to work with this as well. And you have, of course, the super strong turret of the T62A. You gain all these benefits while learning how to mitigate the weaknesses. Sometimes creating gun depression isn't all that obvious, though. 
So think about it in terms of Oasis Palms. I just wanted to throw this in as an aside because sometimes it's not as obvious to everyone and I thought I'd include it. Now, trying to poke over this ridge is going to get me nuked by something. Trying to do this is not a smart idea. I will absolutely lose hit points if there are people trying to fire at me and I am trying to fire back at them. However, sometimes you can create gun depression by using gun elevation. Tell me guys, what's safer? Me being on that ridge that is in front of me, which is the picture that you saw previously, or me sitting back here using my gun elevation to get the same kinds of shots? This is kind of cheeky and it's not something that everyone thinks of, but I thought I'd throw it in because it sometimes comes up and it's just another way to create gun depression. It's not necessarily creating it in the sense of going diagonal on a ridge, but I thought that this was important, so if you didn't know about it, congratulations, now you know about it. For those of you that don't like stills, I did include just a little snippet of gameplay of me doing this, firing a few shots, using this gun depression that I created on Rockfield. So here's a quick little example of me doing this, getting shots into the B cap where potentially tanks are going to be, capping early sometimes, and you are now able to reset from this. It works on both sides, guys. I know I only showed it in the stills on one side, but hey, there's another one right there. I don't angle perfectly right there, but as you can see, it gets the general idea across of what to do. I really hope this video helped you understand how to create gun depression using tanks that don't necessarily have it. And I also hope it shows you why players go from good to great when doing things like this because they are able to take tanks that normally don't have an advantage in certain areas and absolutely turn the tide of a battle in their favor. Now, one last comment. I did want you to look at this still. I'm not going to say it's perfectly covered. It isn't. But if you are wiggling back and forth, dancing as I called it in my first video, and if you haven't checked that out, please watch that video. It's in the Four Aspiring Magicians uh, playlist. Please have a look at that as dancing and then doing this will absolutely increase the win rate of your games or your sessions. If you like this content, please give it a like. And if you didn't, please leave your constructive criticism in the comment section. I really appreciate the opportunity to share my passion with you today, and I hope to see you next time.